All right, everybody. Um, today we're going to talk about distance and midpoint formulas and circles. All of this is review, but we need to get our arms around it so we can move on to the, our other conic sections. All right, so here we have the distance formula. Now, this is not rate times time equals distance. This is distance between two points. And what we're going to do is if we have up two points, x1, y1, uh, x2, y2. We take the difference in the x-coordinates and square it. To that we add the difference in the y-coordinates squared and then take the square root. And once again, this is where, where we have the points x1, y1, x2, y2. Now, how do we get this? And I, I do want you to be able to work your way through this and, and come back and be able to explain it back to me on a quiz or a test, but we can blame or um, thank <laughs> Pythagoras for this. So let's start with um, the Cartesian coordinate system and a point P1 and a point P2. And if we want to find the distance between those two points, here's how we can do it using um, good old Pythagoras. What we're going to do is take a line, a little auxiliary line, and we're going to draw one horizontal through P sub 1 and one vertical through P sub 2. I know that really doesn't look like it's vertical, but let's just pretend like it is. Then this point down here where the right angle meets is going to be X sub 2, Y sub 1. And you can see that that's, it's, um, that new point has the same X coordinate as, as P2 and the same Y coordinate as P1. Okay, so now the distance between P2 and our, and our corner point here is going to be y sub 2 minus y sub 1. When you're finding distance, remember it's the, it's the difference between two things. And along this side, it's going to be x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Now let's remember about the Pythagorean theorem. I can, I'm going to call this side B this side A, and of course C, we're going to let that be the hypotenuse. So we have C squared equals A squared plus B squared. That's a Pythagorean um, theorem in equation form. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute x2 minus x1 for A and y2 minus y1 for B. Then if I take the square root of both sides, I'll have C equals the distance formula. Now let's do an example. Find the distance between negative 1, 4 and 3, negative 2. Okay, so it's going to be the difference of the x-coordinates and 3 minus minus 1 would make it 3 plus 1 and negative 2, negative 4 would make it um, negative 6. So we're going to have 16 plus 36 and then add those together and take the square root uh, square root of 52 is square root of 4 times 13, so that would be 2 times the square root of 13. If you were asked to give that in decimal form, it would be approximately 7.21. Okay, stop and get your uh, first checkpoint done. Okay, let's talk about midpoint. Um, the midpoint formula, midpoint as in halfway or average be the average of the two coordinates. So if we have our two points, x1, y1, x2, y2, if I take the average of the x coordinates, that will give me my x coordinate of my midpoint. The average of the y coordinates will give me the uh, coordinate for the, uh, the value for the y coordinate, and then we have our midpoint. So for instance, now remember this time we're adding. If I have 1 minus 6 and minus 8 minus 4, well, 1 minus 8 over 2, minus 6 minus 4 over 2, gives me minus 7 over 2 and minus 10 over 2, which is the coordinates would be negative 7 over 2 and negative 5. All right, so go ahead and do your checkpoint number 2, and then come back. Oh, no, and then don't come back. Go on to the next video. See you in class.